guys. This is kind of like an apology video. I just want to let you know I've been really, really busy lately. Um, so I haven't been able to... I know I did the Gemini reading. When I come back this weekend, I'm going to do the rest of the reading. So you guys aren't sitting around and waiting. But I figured as an act of an apology for just being so behind on everything. This is just a very busy time of year for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do like a weekend read for you guys. Okay, so I'll just do all the signs. Um, I usually don't do this on the fly like this. But I'm going to do it now. Because <laughs> things are moving very quickly in my life. Um, keep in mind if this resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates, my info, my email are below. Just send me an email. And then check out everything in my playlist. I have the compatibility readings in there. My sun moon readings. Um, I also have, I have stuff. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for all signs for the weekend? And that would be, um, June 8th to June 9th. And what do you see for all signs for this weekend? I usually go by the year, so I'll probably start with Capricorn. All signs. Any messages that you have to help them reach your higher ground, become close to the universe and close to the divine? would be greatly appreciated thank you and i'm probably just uploading this to youtube it won't go on instagram or facebook i guess i could put it on facebook okay so capricorn what do you see for capricorn this weekend period of june 7th i mean sorry june 8th to june 9th capricorn please what do you see for capricorn Spirit Angels, what do you see for Capricorn for this weekend, June 8th to June 9th? These will be single pools. Okay. Possible reconciliation. It's not a reconciliation. It could be somebody you're connecting with from your past um, or going back to something that's very familiar. The Six of Cups usually indicates going back to your past to relive some memories, to reconnect with somebody, all or any of the above. Could be somebody that has children the six of cups is usually that well, let's see what the clarifiers have to say why is the six of cups here for capricorns who is this person what is this energy additional messages okay and you're not really sure what to do with this person we've ace of swords in reverse so you're not really sure what kind of direction you want to take you're confused you don't have any clarity in regards to you you also have doubt so uh, in regards to this connection i don't feel like you know what necessarily to do you're also very um paranoid we have the nine of wands here so you're not sure if you should let this person in this person has hurt you from the past um and you're worried about get your, getting your feelings hurt again okay so you're not in a big rush to kind of let them in being a little distrusting of what's going on really kind of doubting them so and this does not have to be you know a romantic situation this could be a family member it could be you know what have you so that's what i'm kind of seeing going in the past but not being necessarily trusting also, if you guys could timestamp these, I would really appreciate it. I've just been, I mean, I just need, I need your help, people. Next, Aquarius, okay? What do you see for Aquarius for this weekend, June 8th to June 9th? Any messages that you have for Aquarius, please? June 8th to June 9th. Aquarius, what do you see? What do they need to know? Aquarius. June 8th to June 9th for Aquarius, please. Can I have a card? Alrighty. King of Swords. So you guys are taking the initiative in regards to something. And you're not it's not an emotional decision. So you're very detached, which is something that you guys are often good at being. Um very clear, using logic. The King of Swords is very fair too, so a lot of times he'll kind of like um, talk to a lot of people, get a kind of consensus before he decides on something. But you're definitely determined, you're definitely moving forward. Some of you could be getting um, advice from a lawyer, financial advice from somebody. Um, the King of Swords is usually an advisor, okay? And he's really good at being objective and giving you advice. Okay, so we have the Lover's card. This could be a decision, so you might be trying to get clarity, take your emotions out of the way in regards to a decision um, that, has, that has like a catch or something that goes along with it. Um, you could also just be deciding if you're going to get into, if you're going to have a connection with somebody. It could be a Gemini. This is a card of Gemini, if that re resonates. Um, you know, wondering if you want to connect with somebody very deeply. Um, and, and just looking at it from an objective standpoint. Wow. Okay. Now we have the King of Cups. So for some of you, it might be this King of Cups that you're, um, 
you're connecting with. The King of Cups out of the entire deck is one of the best people that you can have a relationship with, in my opinion, especially if you're a female. It's a great fa he's a great father. He's an ideal partner. Um, he's I always say he's empathetic. He's not sympathetic, so he doesn't get in the feels. He doesn't make emotional decisions. Um, but this can also be you all making a decision because the King of Swords is very detached. The King of Cups doesn't let his emotions get the best of him. So you might be facing a decision and trying to figure something out without, um, you know, getting overheated about it or getting, um, you know, basically just letting your emotions guide you this weekend, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aquariuses. Let's see what we have for Pisces. For Pisces, any messages for Pisces for the weekend, June 8th to June 9th? What do you see? What do you think you need to know? Any messages you have that can help them reach your higher ground would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Pisces, please. And as I said, please timestamp if you can. Kind of help me out. Let me see for Pisces, June 8th to June 9th. Single card. Okay. So for some of you, you could just be really disorganized. Things are out of control. You don't. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse is a very scattered energy. Um, it's like a tornado swirling around you and there's papers and you try to grab them and you can't get a grasp or a hold on anything. So um, you might want to concentrate on, you know, time management, getting organized this weekend. For others of you, this could be a person that you're dealing with. Uh, this person's usually somebody who, they, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Um, they'll stir things up and then they'll be like, oh, I didn't have anything to do with that. Um, that would be for um, the rest of you. So let's see, why is this Knight of Swords here in reverse for Pisces? Who is this person? What is this energy? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to get grounded. Um, you need to come up with a plan, have a new beginning, be very organized, very practical, um, conservative. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is here for. Follow your intuition in regards to this. What is the right thing to do? How should you go about it? The High Priestess is all about that. So your intuition is telling you that, you know, things are just chaos right now. Well, what are you going to do about it? What what feels connect with yourself what is your best method what works for you what's your methodology in order to get organized in order to reduce chaos you know um in order i keep on getting time management for some of you i feel like you're running behind the clock so that you can have this new beginning and actually move forward um solid you know be productive um that's what the ace of pentacles is for me manifesting your goals because right now the way everything is kind of up in the air nothing's really manifesting you're not getting things done you're not reaching the goals you want to um reach so figure out something that works for you as a person figure out what kind of personality you are and what kind of um, organizational system would work for you okay so that's what i have for you all this week for pisces next we have aries Holy Spirit Angels, my God, universe, can you please tell your truth and wisdom or clarity for Aries for the weekend? June 8th to June 9th, what do you see for Aries? What do they need to know? Aries, please. June 8th to June 9th for Aries. I'm actually doing this without my headphones or mic and it just feels weird. I don't know why. Okay, you guys are having a, um, you have the card of Sagittarius, so some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Things are kind of out of alignment right now. You're looking around at your life, you're trying to figure out, um, you can't seem to get balance, you can't seem to figure out where to make, uh, you know, positive changes. Maybe some of you are having negative thought patterns, maybe some of you are having a hard time tempering your patience, um, finding peace, um, just finding a good place, you're having difficult difficulty with that this weekend why is the temperance card here reverse who is this person what is this energy for Sagittarius yeah you guys keep on going back to something and, and I call it like picking a scab um you kind of go out you get confused and you're going back to something because you need answers you need comfort um you don't know what to do I feel like there's a level of confusion that goes along with this um, we have the Hierophant in reverse, which is the card of Taurus. So this is about um, needing, like, needing restructure, okay, is what I'm feeling like. Um, the Hierophant in the upright, it's all about uh, this is structure, this is how things are going to go. And I feel like you guys are lacking in that. You don't really know, um, you need some kind of, like, structure. This is kind of similar to Pisces, actually. Like, some kind of structure and order um, in your life in order to succeed 
manifest your goals, what have you. Um, but I don't like this card. Do you guys keep on going back to something? I, I don't feel like I, I'm getting from this Eight of Cups that, that going back to this is not serving you. Um, and like I, I call it picking the scab, like going back to something so you can feel the hurt and then kind of moving forward. Or you can feel the mistake you made um, or trying to go back and get closure. Sometimes when it's things like this, you need to actually just get your own closure, create your own closure so you, so you can move on and have structure. Okay, so um, that's what I have for Aries. Next we have Taurus. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Taurus? For June 8th, for June 9th, what messages do you have? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Taurus, please, June 8th, June 9th. Taurus, any messages you have for Taurus for June 8th, June 9th? Okay, you guys had the Three of Cups in reverse. So maybe you could be having problems with friendships. The dynamic is a little bit off. Somebody has left your circle of friends and things are weird now. Or some new friend has come in and things are weird now. Uh, the Three of Cups can also be blocked creativity for some of you. Um, you know, you just, you're missing your mojo. You can't make your mojo happen. So the advice that usually goes along with this is take a break. Um, you know, return to a project, return to whatever it is after you feel more grounded. Now, um, for other of you, you could actually be, there could be an affair, there could be a betrayal of some sort. Something went a little bit too far with you and another person or with somebody you're involved with. Why is this Three of Cups here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Three of Cups. Please, in reverse, for Taurus for this weekend. We have the Two of Swords. We have a Lover's card. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, a lot of times when the Two of Swords comes up for me, it's, it's, it's time for an investigation. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going with it for a larger percentage of you. I think this is the third, third scenario. You probably don't want to hear this. Um, cause here you are with the two of swords trying to get more information. So at the very least, I think some of you suspect infidelity or something's going on. And with the two of swords, you're trying to figure out how to proceed. I think you, the, um, you or somebody that you're with has made a connection with someone. This is a card of, um, a Gemini, if that resonates, but someone has made a deep emotional connection with somebody. Um, something's kind of going on there. I'm surprised that's not in the reverse. So, um, I think you're, fig like I said, Try and decide what you're going to do. Definitely guarding your heart. Um, but the Two of Swords is, is usually about look into this, find out what's going on, and usually it's time sensitive. It's better to kind of look into it now than later. Um, so that's what I have for Taurus. Alrighty. Next we have Gemini. What do you see for Gemini, please? For the weekend of June 8th to June 9th, any messages for Gemini? Would be greatly appreciated for the weekend, June 8th to June 9th. So Gemini, please. Gemini, June 8th to June 9th. Okay. Gemini, June 8th to June 9th. Hope you guys can hear me without my um, mic on. Seven of Pentacles. You guys are done investing in something. You put in a lot of effort in and you're not seeing it go anywhere this could be a project this could be a person um and you're just tired of dumping your energies into it and you're really not motivated to keep on doing it whatever it is um some of you might be having um yeah and, and it's tedious you don't like it, the, the thrill is gone you just don't want to bother with it anymore um some of you could be procrastinating to um stop doing this so you're kind of like putting it off why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Who is this person? Of course, since this is general, it's however it resonates. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse for Gemini? Ten of Cups. Because <laughs> you want to be happy? Yeah. You're, you're figuring out that you want to end it. We have the Ten of Cups here and we have the, the Eight of Swords. Um, because you're not happy continuing to dump into this. Like I said, nothing is becoming of this. So I think um, you're putting off... Um, ending this, telling this person this, but ultimately you want to be happy with the Ten of Cups. You want to be fulfilled. Whatever you're in right now isn't really doing it for you, whether you're not fulfilled in work or whether you're not fulfilled in a relationship or your environment. And the Eight of Swords indicates to me that you want to free yourself 
um, from from this situation, from this old situation that you're in. You're kind of looking back on what went on in regards to this and you're making a conscious decision to change it, to escape from this. Okay, very open to change, but I think for some of you it's very delicate about how you're gonna kind of go about that, okay? So that's for Gemini. Next we have Cancer. Please, Spirit Angels. Cancer, please. June 8th to June 9th. Any messages that you have would be greatly appreciated. For Cancers, what do you see? What should they know? <laughs> that was just sloppy shuffling. Don't get excited about poppers. All right. I'm not a big popper fan anyways. It has to be very obvious. My guides are very obvious when it comes to poppers. Okay, Cancer. What do you see for Cancer this weekend? June 8th to June 9th. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, some of you might have a windfall of money. You might have a new op an opportunity coming in. Usually it has to do with finances. So some of you could be winning the lottery. You could be coming into property and inheritance of some sort. Um, that part's also about manifesting new goals, practical goals. So you're working, being very practical minded. I have a new start in regards to goals. Why do you face the pentacles here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Ace of Pentacles. And you're very clear about, um, well, you were clear until this Ace of Swords came. Okay, so it, it, it's a practical matter. You want to get it started. You want to get it off the ground. But I feel like for some of you, this is not your area of expertise. So I actually think you're going to consult with someone because I see the Queen of Swords here with the Ace of Swords. Ace, Ace of Swords in reverse. And when the Ace of Swords is in reverse, it's really not having a plan, not having a direction, not knowing how to go about doing something. So it seems like you want to bring in money, you want to bring something in, but you don't know how to do it. So you're going to go talk to this Queen of Swords who is um, sees the big picture. She's really good at, she's, she's she can be a good advisor too because um, she kind of steps back, she looks at the bigger picture and she's um, very good at advising from, you know, the outside in looking at things objectively. So I think this weekend you, you all are going to be talking to somebody about how to go about doing something and she's going to show you the way. I love her hand kind of showing you the way to kind of do it. Okay. So that's what I have for cancers. Next we have Leos. Leos. What do you see for Leos? Weekend of June 8th to the 9th. Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated for Leo's June 8th to June 9th. Leo's, please. June 8th to June 9th. The weekend, June 8th to June 9th for Leo's. Six of Wands. Some of you are feeling defeated. Some of you are feeling rejected. Um, strange for you guys because you guys are usually pretty confident people, but. Um, so kind of, you know, down, down on your, down on your luck kind of came to mind, um, really kind of lacking confidence, not sure of your ability. It might be because, um, you know, what people are, are doing around you. Um, some of you feel like you're being punished for something you didn't even do. Why is the six of wands here in reverse for Leo's for the weekend? Who is this person? What is this energy? Yeah, I feel like it's somebody from your past you might have tried to reconnect with some oh that's so weird who got this Capricorn got this exactly so some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn um so this is what I feel happened I feel that wow I wonder if it was a Capricorn so I feel like some of you, uh, you what you tried to do was you tried to approach somebody in regards to re reconciliation or connecting with them somebody that you had um, a previous relationship with or what have you and and I feel like they actually rejected you um so there's rejection involved because here, um, here they are not ready to let you in. So I don't know if you, um, if, if, if they're distrustful of you or you did something to them or what have you, but I think that they just didn't want to go another round with this, um, because they're very guarded and they, and they don't trust you. They have, they have trust issues in regards to you. So. I think that's what kind of happened and then some kind of rejection took place and so you're feeling a little bit defeated and a little bit, like I said, down on your luck. So that's what I have for some of you Leos for this weekend. Okay. Next we have Virgos. Do you see for Virgos for this weekend? June 8th and June 9th for Virgos, please. Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. 
appreciate that for Virgos. Thank you. Virgos. June 8th to June 9th for Virgos. Oh, Ace of Swords. New direction, new beginning, new relationship. Um, and, and it's after having triumphed over something. So the Ace of Swords is very cathartic for me. It's kind of like cutting out the past, moving forward, um, totally clear in a direction, having a plan, knowing what you're doing. Uh, for some of you, you actually be going through surgery, believe it or not. But this is carving a new path for yourself. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Who is this person with this energy? Additional messages for the Ace of Swords or Virgos. hope my video doesn't give out on me that were really like okay because previously you did not have a direction you did not have a plan you were very confused you weren't sure what you were doing you didn't have the money you didn't have the finances in order to do so I don't know what the, what just happened hold on let me just check okay sorry like my screen's giving out um so I don't feel like you had a plan and you didn't have a direction you didn't have finances in the past in order to do this um you're having money problems but I I really think, so for some of you, I think you've overcome that and you're actually having a new direction. Um, for others of you, you want a new direction and you can see it clearly in how to do it, um, but you're having doubt. You're not sure if it's gonna work out because you don't have the finances in order to do it. So it's for me, it's gonna be one or the other for you guys this weekend, okay? One is a kind of like a good path, the other one not so much. Here's Libras. What's going on with Libras for this weekend? June 8th to June 9th for my Libras. Any messages you have in regards to Libras would be greatly appreciated. Libras, the weekend of June 8th to June 9th. With the devil card in reverse, so you are exiting out of a situation that is not healthy for you. A relationship that is no, that is very toxic. The devil card to me is the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's also the, you were putting it off for a while because you thought it was gonna be a lot worse than it was. And when you get to the other side of it, you find out that it wasn't. So you're freeing yourselves of something that binds you this weekend, could be a relationship, a person, an organization, however you wanna kinda of look at it. And you might've known this early on that this wasn't gonna kinda of work out. Um, page of Wands in Reverse can be early, like a project that failed early. Um, and you're getting out of this because this person's very toxic. When it comes to communication, they aren't talking. Um, sometimes they can be really, really mean, really stubborn when it comes to communicating. They just refuse to talk to you. They put their fingers in their ears or what have you. Um, Knight of Wands, very, uh, this person's very used to getting their way. They don't like the word no. Um, they they get if you tell them no they get really angry they usually like to they're attention seekers they like all eyes on them um they can be very impulsive and very chaotic so i can see that this is why you're trying to distance yourself from this person and get out of this situation so that's what's going on with um you libras for the weekend you are giving somebody the boot it looks like but you guys will do it in a very fair way i'm sure next <laughs> scorpios Scorpios, please. Any messages for Scorpio, June 8th to June 9th? Greatly appreciated. Scorpios, June 8th to June 9th. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Scorpios, June 8th to June 9th. I didn't cut the cards, but that's okay. I didn't feel like I needed to. Yay. Scorpios, you guys are going to have a good weekend. Some of you might be actually going away to the beach, to a sunny little place, to get some warmth, to relax. But overall, you are happy, you are joyful, you always look it on the bright side, full of optimism, good health, fulfilled. I'll say that and then I'll pull out some crazy card. Why is the sun card here? Who is this person? What is this energy for Scorpio? Additional messages? Yeah, I feel like some of you are going on a weekend getaway. Okay, sun card, I mean it's warm. Oh, and you want it, you want it to happen now. <laughs> Knight of Wands is urgency. So you guys are just throwing some stuff into a bag you're not thinking about you're not thinking about anything you're just grabbing your bag your suitcase you're throwing your bathing suits in there and your towels and you're like screw it i'm gonna go hmm well you want to go but for some reason i feel like you're not going to be able to go things are kind of stuck so um hmm you're kind of for some of you i got you're waiting on somebody before you decide you really want to do something with somebody 
like I said, the getting away scenario, doing something, um, maybe just being happy with someone, and you want it to happen now. The Knight of Swords has this urgency that goes along with it. Um, he, he's just somebody, he, he thinks and then he does. But somebody here is kind of like, oh, I don't know. They're holding things up. They aren't moving as quickly as you want them to. And they're actually, I feel like they're they're saying, okay, well, let's just hold up on this. Let's not do this this weekend. How about maybe next weekend or the weekend after? I don't know if I'm ready for this. I want to wait until, um, they're waiting for something before they decide to do this. So you're trying to grab your hand and get them to do this. And they're like, well, let's just wait. Um, I, I want to see, you know, how, how this is going to pan out or what have you. And you're like, come on, let's go. <laughs> It's going to be a sunny weekend. And that's what, that's what I feel like is going on. And they just have things that they have some irons in the fire that they need to kind of figure out before they, they do this. Uh, to me, they're more of a thinker and a planner. Um, and they just want to make sure before they kind of jump into this is what I'm feeling like. So that's what you guys have for this weekend. If that's the case, just go by yourself and enjoy yourself, right? Why not? Okay. Sagittarius. Holy Spirit Angels, what do you see for Sagittarius? June 8th and June 9th. Any messages that you have for Sagittarius would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Sagittarius messages. June 8th, June 9th. Sagittarius. Oh, man. Okay, I probably won't pull clarifiers on this. So you guys are grouchy. Alrighty. What's. Oh my god. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> More like a happy reading. Okay, so we have the card of Aries, we have the card of Capricorn, we have the Eight of Swords. Um, you guys are really trapped in a situation right now. Um, you got the, you had the Emperor in Reverse, who is not a nice, nice person. He's very controlling. He's very domineering. He's another person that doesn't like to hear the word no. He keeps people under under his thumb. Um, like I said, and he's tyrannical. Now we have the devil card here, and the devil card is being tied to this person, so uh, you're tied to somebody that you can't get away from. You feel powerless, you can't break free, might be a codependent situation or what have you, and the Eight of Swords is, is compounding that or, or reiterating that because the Eight of Swords is about being stuck in a situation you cannot get out of. Now, I will say with the Eight of Swords, it's telling you that this is more, um, you can, the, it's, it's almost like the door's open and you can walk through it, but your mind is telling you that you can't for some reason. So the Eight of Swords is a restriction that you impose on yourself. And along with the Eight of Swords also, you might be saying to yourself, why do I keep on getting in the, into these situations? Um, the Eight of Swords can be, you know, seeking out and staying in the same type of job or the same type of contract or the same type of relationship and, and saying to yourself, why does this always happen? If it's not that, you're asking yourself, why am I staying in, in something that, that is terrible? Okay, with, with somebody who's controlling, and this could be a work scenario. This could be a, um, a a boss who's tyrannical, and you're 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 tied you're tied to the job because it pays well. Um, you know, it could be a lot of scenarios. It could be a relationship, or it could be anything—a relationship with an entity or what you're in right now. But you guys definitely are, are trapped and feel like you cannot get out of this, or you cannot get out from under this entity or under this um, person's like siege they have on you. But remember, it's the Eight of Swords is about mental power, so it really is yourself just telling you that you can't do it. Um, like I said, I feel like the door's wide open; you just can't step through it for some reason. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys um, this weekend. If any of this resonated, again, keep in mind, check out a personal reading, race it in for or below. Just send me an email. We can set that up. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Everybody have a good weekend. Bye.